Hello again, this time Aqua Computer DE, expert in water cooling since 2001, Cry Cryo M2, that's a heatsink for M2 drives, M2 SSD drives, something is definitely loose in the box, it's the factory sealed, that's maybe if you want to read this, pause the video. Okay, let's open it. Boom. Thank you for watching. Product. Oh, it's basically goes like this. Okay, put this aside. What's in the box? Manual. How to install this? Nothing on this side. Okay. So there's the heatsink. Not bad. Pretty cold. And those are two thermal parts. Let's see them. Yep. I'm sorry for the camera. There they are. One. That's the thermal part, and the second one. Second thermal part. I have no idea which one goes where. Pro probably this uh, thicker one goes under the the SSD drive and of course some screws okay let's see the extension card okay so this is how it looks like it's super close Okay, so let's see how heavy this is. Put this aside. Zero on the scale. Let's place the heat sink, which is 54 grams. And the card with the heat sink is 104. And with uh, thermal parts, 115. Okay. So that's the weight of this device, or whatever you want to call it. Let's measure it. It's centimeters, so eight centimeters there. Five and. Uh, almost five and a half right there and how thick this is let's see one centimeter here and a half centimeter there and the card is 11 and Seven here and eight, almost eight and a half, almost in this position. Okay, so what now? Let's read the manual, which is pretty small. Like, like I said, like I said. The thicker one, 1.8 1, 1. millimeters, so this one goes under the SSD, and the thin one, 1 millimeter, goes on SSD. Okay, let's install the SSD now. So, this is how the drive was uh, installed in, uh, in Asus HyperKit Mini. Okay. So, 
let's test some SSDs. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't have uh, Samsung 950 to test it, but we have something better. We have 960 Pro, one terabyte version, brand new stuff, brand new hot stuff. Okay. Like you can see in close up, this drive has a copper sticker on the on this side and normal sticker on this side. We have to install it like this. Unfortunately, we cannot remove this sticker because if you remove the sticker, you void the warranty. I don't want to void my warranty. So I will not remove the sticker. It is what it is. Okay. So let's install the drive. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it is what it is. It's pretty difficult to place it. Let's install the drive. So I have no idea what those are for. I won't install them, just... I don't know. What's the purpose of those? So it's installed. Just remember when you're screwing those screws do this like this first this one then this one then this one and this one like crossing over the screws don't screw it like this don't just one 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 crossing okay and the drive is installed it's pretty tight don't don't use a lot of force when you're screwing it just little bit false but not not too much you, you don't want to break the drive yeah okay let's see how heavy this is right now one twenty five grams okay let's install it in the PC so the drive is installed pretty tight install you can see uh, the fan is a little uh, in the way so I cannot screw this in right there hmm now let's leave it like this and let's see the temperatures so that's the idle temperature I raised the temperature a little bit to see the idle temperature that's the idle temperature in about 20 minutes of using this drive 
so it's four degrees less than in the HyperKit from Asus. Okay, let's press the start button and the benchmark. Let's see the temperatures. That was my first and last mistake. I'm blue without your face. But what can I do? Cause I'm just a sinking ship. And you're just a pair of lips that I've lost in the moment. All I want is for you to come back. Now I'm cold. you just saw big improvement recommend this product thanks for watching goodbye